Hello friends, this is Wendy, and I am a scrapbooker, a junk journaler, a paper crafter, and um, I have just finished Corby, which is a huge event for me. Um, Corby is my very first junk journal, and I learned an awful lot from this one. I started it, per, I, I guess I should go back and check my videos, but late October, sometime in November, something like that. Corby looked like this when he started out, only unlike this one, every page was was lovingly scribbled all over by a very excited little boy so named Corby. Um, I don't know Corby. Uh, my friend uh, Rachel and her husband, they go um, thrifting and they found it and I thought, you know, I need to keep this here. So when I covered it, I cut out this little bit for the memory of Corby, and I have named it that ever since. Um, let's see, so I barely finished this book today. My son thought, why don't you put a button and do this with it, and so I did. And I like it. I've also got, so I've got the name Corby on here, and these are the dates. This was just to give a little bit of sunshine, and then this tells, you know, what the book is about. So I thought I would do a flip through. The way I constructed this, the sides I need to either glue that down or cut that off, um, I put the pages in before I did any crafting to the book. I also, in one of the um, groups that I'm on I'm on Facebook, somebody asked the question, does anybody use photos in their junk journals? And mine is full of photos. So, um, so yes, I do. Because I am primarily a scrapbooker. And I like this size, though. And there, there are a number of things that I have learned about um, junk journaling. Uh, making this and uh, that I will either choose to not do in the future or choose to continue to do in the future. So um, this is what this uh, book looked like to begin with. So I obviously covered it. I have a video on that. I have, I have several videos out about Corby. Um, anyway, so here is my flip through.
I thoroughly enjoyed making this book. I learned a lot from it. And one of the things that um, I learned, especially through pictures, through going back through my pictures, because this was 2019 and 2020. At the time when I started this, it was like, oh, this was such a horrible time in my life. And as I went through my pictures, I realized it was not nearly so horrible. In fact, there was a lot of wonderful things that happened. And that to me was a blessing. And um, the majority of the paper cuts, the, the die cuts and the Definitely the inks and the watercolor pencils and the stamps are Tim Holtz. Not all, but the vast majority are. Anyway, um, I hope you all have a wonderful day and we'll see you soon.